Hi, this is how I will learn front-end web development in 2023 without prior programming knowledge. These are my recommendations and I'll go through them right now. Uh, and let me specify this is how to reach intermediate level the easiest way. For advanced level I can create another video, basically the next stage. First, patience, practice and learn from the best. Some people might be better at HTML5, others at CSS3 and others at JavaScript. Find a quiet place where you are most productive. Start to study the core parts, the fundamentals of HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript and the DOM. How to work with developer tool from Google Chrome. I find it best by far compared to other browsers. This allows you to see and inspect the HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This tool will be your best friend. I mainly use the following tabs. Elements, console, source, and sometimes the network tab. Let me show you developer tools. You click inspect. This is this is the HTML. This this is an element. This is where you can see things. You can modify things in real time. Then in the console, you can write JavaScript to affect the DOM, so you can change the HTML with JavaScript, see error messages, and other cool things. Then the source, the source shows you the files that are used, and the network tab shows you the resources, the resources that are, have been loaded, but you need to refresh the page and have this open. The platforms on which I would start learning and practicing are for video courses Pluralsight.com, 2 to 4 hours per day. For practicing Codecademy.com, 2 hours per day. After some progress, you can switch more time to Codecademy.com because it is more about writing code. The pricing on Codecademy, the ideal courses for beginners are free. After, you can pay. $29 per month for all courses and on completion you will get a certificate. On plural site, the access for all videos is between $22 to $45. Previously it was around uh, $45, but I see now that they have a promotion. Both platforms have content organized for beginners, intermediates, intermediaries and advanced. Let me show you Code Academy. You can create an account and I filtered out here the price for free. I will start with learn HTML, learn CSS, learn JavaScript. Then you can jump in intermediate JavaScript, intermediate CSS, HTML fundamentals, JavaScript fundamentals, CSS introduction, let me see if this is something, yes it's a little different, both are beginner friendly, I would start with those and then I would move Actually, I think that's okay for beginner intermediate. Let's see the pricing. This is the price that I was talking about. If it's 29 when billed monthly. Then on plural site. These are the plans and this is how a path in Pluralsight looks for 
web building websites with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I think it is from from beginner. Here it is, beginner, beginner, and the last one's intermediate. And there are some also for ad for more advanced things. If you want to understand something more in detail, you can look for examples and explanations on w3schools.com, developer.mozilla.org. Typically, typically, if you search for something regarding front-end web development, you will see the sites appear first. This is w3school. And they have their own introduction. But I found it more, more appropriately to see some video courses, so you can see how it is, how the code is written in real time. And I think it's more fun. But you can jump here anytime you want and see examples. Then this is MDN. You can see here things about. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, HTTP, web APIs, web extensions, web technology. And you click on something and it shows you everything that you need to know. Alf, I recommend you to find a comfortable position while spending time on, on your computer. I use a MacBook and I prefer to stay in bed for a more comfortable option. When I used to spend hours and hours on a chair, my back started to hurt and I couldn't focus. So you need to be comfortable so you can focus and be most productive. After you are familiar with the basics, you can inspect web pages that you like and see how they are using HTML and CSS. You can also, if you are doing your own web page you can see the JavaScript as well and you can see on other websites the JavaScript as well but it is minified uglified so it's more optimized for performance for loading speed let me show you on MDN again the inspect tab the previous example with the developer tools or was on this it, this is a web app and the elements are much more complicated. So on a regular website, you will see elements much, much clearer. And here you can interact with the HTML page through the DOM. Querying H1 elements. Let's see P elements, 52 P elements. It opens the element. But you will learn on courses the in depth details about the inspector tool and developer tools. Then I would jump in learning the basics of making of making requests to APIs and the basics of HTTP. HTTP is the transfer protocol through which data is being sent to the server and back. You can have a look at the official specifications for HTML5 at this website, DOM specifications at this website, CSS3 specifications on this website. Let's have a look. This is the DOM, events, the HTML. But you don't need to learn everything from here. You just need to know how certain things work. And if you need some details about a specific thing, you can search on Google or and it will probably show you or go to this page and go directly to 
that. And here is the specification for CSS. For the code editor, I recommend VS Code. You can install Microsoft's Copilot for AI assistance. I have a video about the extensions that I use in VS Code uh, on another video. If you get errors or don't understand what is wrong, you can Google what you get, the error that you get, and most likely you will find it on stackoverflow.com. There you can ask questions and see a lot of answers. Stack Overflow is a common place for developers to post questions that they with what they have in, with what they have issues. But it's also a place for common uh, questions that people have and have been responded. So you can have a look directly at the result, ask your own question. It's super useful. Certain times you can check some public code on GitHub of important players in the software industry and see how they write and organize code. So if you type a project on Google with GitHub, it should appear first. And this is a complex project, but you can find more simple ones and you can look at their code and see how people have written those codes. Recently, you can use ChatGPT, Google Bard, and Microsoft Chat AI in the Edge browser for some help and inspiration, but at the moment you cannot, can't rely on it. You can't rely on them. You will need to verify the result. With Microsoft Chat on Edge, you can navigate to certain pages with documentation and ask for general questions. And the last part, for fun and motivation, you can follow web development accounts on social media and you can check and you can watch some YouTube videos. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press the like button, share, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you. Have a great day.